Hello everyone, and welcome to the 2014 Minnesota Duck Hunting Opener. I just got back here yesterday. Um, I had to do a little bit of an intro on this video. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of having five or six videos this year, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make one long video and just call it Duck Hunting 2014, the movie for opener here. Um, we did things a little different also. I have my camera going. We're going to have a GoPro camera going. And we have another camera going, so I've got one that my my main camera, which I get most of the footage, and, and then I get my boat and stuff like that. Um, people you're going to see more of in this video: my uh, brother Chris, his wife Teresa, and her brother Johan, who always go up for opener uh, with us. For you know, we're always together up there for duck hunting. And um, but I don't get a lot of them on video. So anyway, I'm, I haven't edited this video yet. I know I have, besides this clip, I've got 20.1 gigabytes of footage. <laughs> a lot of it is just, you know, in the boat. It's turned on, listening to shooting and waiting for stuff to happen, so that'll be edited out. But anyway, um, so just bear with me. A little bit of it might be a little bit choppy. Um, Zachary got a real nice video uh, clip of Sarah shooting a mallard, so that's going to be in there. Um, there's some other stuff. A little bit graphic, not a whole lot of graphic in this one. I've got one graphic shot where I shoot a goose, and it's in the water. Um, I'll try to keep it. I'll try to keep it short because otherwise people flag the video. It gets age restricted, and then I mean kids are around that want to go duck hunting. They won't be able to watch the video. So I'll try to keep that short. The GoPro camera that's going to be in Teresa. Teresa and Johan sit together. Um, there's a, a nice Johan gets a grouse. We get to see that in this video. So anyway, um, I don't know how I'm going to edit it all together. So just like I said, bear with me. I'll do the best I can and um, enjoy the movie. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Joe and Zach's Survival. I've been driving about the last uh, almost four hours. This is the last 11 miles going into where we uh, go duck hunting every year. Camp in the same spot. This will be my 38th year up here. Uh, it's supposed to be really warm this weekend, highs close to 80 uh, at night, mid 50s. So uh, anyway, I'm coming up here today. Zachary and Sarah will be meeting me up here tomorrow. Uh, my brother Chris, he's going to be up here. He'll be up today. He probably is already up here. Um, I think Teresa, his wife, will be coming up today too. So anyway, it should be a fun weekend. I'm looking forward to getting in here. haven't been here for a year. Got Max and Chester in the back here. Okay, we're coming right up here on where we camp. I saw my brother Chris down on another, or his truck anyway, on one of the grouse hunting trails. Come on, boys. So, over on this side of the road is where Chris and them set up their camp. We walk up there and put our boats in for duck hunting. And over here is where I set up our camp. Tent gets set up back here. That's where we have our fire. Some of, even some of the wood that I had from last year is still here. A couple of ducks right there. Okay, so that's all the stuff that was in the trailer. Now I'm going to go dump off the canoes down where we, we launched them so I can unhook that trailer and then I can back the truck in right here and get the tent and stuff out of the back. Looks like my brother Chris is back.
Okay everyone, well, I got camp all set up here. I'm in dire need of a new camp kitchen. I almost bought one the other day and I thought, you know what, I can still get a year or two out of this one, but she is, I've had it for about seven years and it's uh, definitely seen better days, but everything is set up now. When Sarah comes up tomorrow, we'll set up that cot for her. It's supposed to be really warm up here, so I brought my little battery fan, got a lantern set up, my cot. We'll run over here and take a quick look at Chris and Teresa's camp. He just went grouse hunting here. I'm just about to take off because it's going to be uh, getting dark in about an hour. Okay guys, well I haven't seen any grouse today here. This is the third trail I've walked on. And uh, my brother Chris said he did jump one earlier, and he shot at it, but he missed. And uh, a lot of leaves on the trees, though, so just not a whole lot of them around this year. But anyway, the sun is just about to set. These dogs are pooped out, tired. So I'm going to go back to camp, grab myself a beer, and uh, probably get a fire going pretty soon. All right, everyone, well, that was Chris and Teresa's fire over there. Just gonna get one started here so I get some coals for some supper tonight. Up at duck camp, I always have a kerosene lantern burning up here because, I don't know, it's been 20 years probably since my grandfather died and he used to come up here all the time and he would always have a kerosene lantern going. So every year I burn one, I start it when I get here and we put it out when we leave. I'm thinking tomorrow when Zach comes up, he wants to set up his own tent and stuff, and I'm thinking maybe he can just set that up right over there. Down, he grabs roots and he rips them out, and he gets pissed off at the roots. Get it! <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, it's the next day here. Uh, Sarah and Zachary are driving up right now. They should be here in just a few hours. So, I'm just gonna go out and try a couple more trails and see if I can jump any girls. Sarah and Zachary showed up finally here. check out our spot so when we go out in the morning we know where we're gonna go when it's dark. Did you guys find a spot? Yeah. Kind of like where you were last year? Or? Uh, we came up a, to the first main point. <laughs>
okay? Yeah, and watch out. Hey! Yeah! Wines doesn't fall in. That would be the worst. wide open. Holy. Wow. Well, there's where we should sit. So what are you making for dinner? It's called the hobo pack. I see, and you said what, it has hamburger and potatoes and... Onions, carrots, and then mix it all together with uh, beefy onion soup mix. Oh, and then throw it in foil on the fire? Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Over here we're doing pork, beef, catfish, shrimp, what was the other, pineapple, shish kebabs. have to watch it. I thought he had a lot to eat, yeah, but what he has is a lot of tinfoil. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Looks like it's done. Well, the potato, is it, is it soft? Oh, yeah. Is oh, it? Oh, it's all the way through. Is it? Yep. Yep. See that? It's good. Oh, it looks so good. It does. We're just sitting here getting our shell boxes ready here just before it gets dark because uh, tomorrow morning we got to be up for sure up by four o'clock in the morning. So getting everything ready. Well, everyone, it's about a quarter to nine right now, and we have to get up pretty early, so very shortly we are going to be going to bed. All right, everybody, it's about nine o'clock. We're going to hit the hay. Good night, Zach.
I didn't even have to wake you up. You still have about uh, eight minutes till it's four o'clock. <laughs> Sarah? Sarah? It's about five minutes to four. Time to wake up. Oh, there goes my almost boiled one. We all ready to whack some ducks in there? <laughs> Max, I'm going to leave you here today and bring you out tomorrow. You're too old to get out of the boat, but today we have to sit a long time. Okay, guys, well, it's like 25 after right now, so you guys are going to want to get moving pretty soon. So right. I'll see you guys out there. See you. Good luck. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I'm going to run out there first because my point is, well, Zach and Sarah go out farther, but my point is before the bay here, so I want to get out there so that no other hunters get in there. Okay everyone, well I just made it out here. So what do I got? Almost two hours till it's shooting time. Now it's just time to watch the stars and watch the other boats and stuff like that. So that light you see right there, that's uh, Zachary and Sarah paddling out. <laughs> That's uh, Zachary. I don't think you guys can see the light out there, but Teresa and Johan, they are there. You might be able to see, you know. Yeah, they're out there canoeing to their spot right now. And there I can see Chris going out there too. Towards a deadline for hammering out an accord is just eight weeks away. Okay, so I got my canoe tucked back into the weeds here. Kind of have this opening that's not good there, but this is opening day. It's not going to mean a, make a bit of difference, really. It's about 5:30 in the morning right now, and now some of the other duck hunters start to get out. We always get out real early to save our spots here, but it kind of gives you something to watch. I'm going to wear this little pullover thing here instead of using face paint today it's real lightweight and everything and it's about the right color so I think that was gonna work pretty good it's getting closer
birds, three shots. Triton State. I did. Best shooting of my life, and I was like, "Okay, I'm done. We can go in now, because I'll never be able to do that again in my life." Did he spawn that duck, eh? He did. When you were when you were circling. So what you get there? What you doing? Eating. Huh? Or eating. How you, how'd you guys do? Yeah, I was sitting right here, and then that flock went over, and then them three came back, oh, and then I dropped the one and I shot it. Then I'm sitting here. I was sitting over there when I shot it by, by them, them things, and then uh, then I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden four wood ducks come over, so I shot one of them. <laughs> so good thing we didn't go in, but <laughs> wish we would have got that other one. But we heard the other people shoot, so I'm sure they got it. You know, so. Did Chester get the, the goose or no? No, but I let him get the duck. Yeah. Yep, he did. So, did he get the ones for you too? He got one of them. He did, huh? Yep, he did good. So. Okay, so up in the morning, we got a couple ducks and a goose and a couple more ducks. A couple ducks right there. We'll go over and look at what Chris and Teresa and Johan did. <laughs> You're not going to put any seasoning on that? Nope. Oh man. It's going to be fire drill. <laughs> 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 Went in there a little ways and was like, well, screw this because it's 
sun's glaring and you can't see anything. And you got it. I think you got it. I really do think you got it. Did you really? <laughs> I ain't picking it up for you. See him? Did you get him? Oh yeah. I did. I did. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Alright, so we're getting ready for supper here. Zach's gonna make some uh, flat iron steaks. I got spare ribs going on, baked potato. Oh, you got that? Oh, they look really good. Yeah. I was just gonna say, I don't know if I'm gonna do a vegetable. I might just do uh, baked potato, but now I better do a vegetable because that looked good. And what's that? <laughs> that's for the rice? Yep, that's just the water rice. for the rice. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Some <laughs> spare ribs, baked potato. And I think we're gonna have maybe corn tonight. <laughs> that's a thick pork chop. <laughs> that's, that's a nice. thick cut. That's nice. What do you guys got in here? Um, two are just plain potatoes. The other ones are potatoes, green peppers, onions, everything. Nice. The whole thing. Cleaning up your stuff? Yeah, yeah. Taking out my stuff's in the car, what I don't need tonight. Looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, everyone. Well, that's uh, what? Day two of duck hunting here? Anyway, one day of duck hunting. We'll be out tomorrow again. Sarah's already in bed reading. Zach's talking to his girlfriend. We're heading to bed. It's just about almost 9 o'clock right now, but we still have to get up tomorrow at about 3.45, 4 o'clock. Zachary? Zach? Zach? Zachary? Yeah. It's four o'clock. Right. Thank you. Sarah? It's four o'clock, Sarah. Zachary, mm. it's 10 after 4. Time to get up. Okay. Sarah? Sarah? It's 10 after 4. Time to get up. Are we all happy to be awake and ready for duck hunting? Hey <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, guys, I'll see you when you're paddling by. Good luck. Come on, Max. You want to go on a boat today? Let's go. Come on. Max, get in there. Get in there. Okay, guys. So we're sitting out here just before 5 o'clock now. That means we got another hour and 45 minutes to wait until shooting time. Generally, this is uh, the second day hunt. It's not nearly as not nearly as much shooting. First of all, there's less ducks because some got shot yesterday. There's 
less hunters to push the ducks around and uh, the ducks that are here are now a lot more scared than they were yesterday but who knows some days Sundays are, are real good and sometimes they're slow but it's still fun being out here hello everybody this is uh, Sarah and Zach's boat Sarah up there hi <laughs> anyways um, let's see what time it is it is 5.33, um, we have about an hour and 10 minutes until we can shoot, hour and 12 minutes actually, and uh, yeah, we're just watching all the boats coming at the boat landing and down the river, and we're looking up at the beautiful stars, I don't think that this will show it, but there's so many stars, you know, you forget. You forget how many are actually up there. So Sarah, how is today going so far? I'm bored. You're bored? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can, uh, you can tell us a little bit about your shotgun since I think on the previous videos of duck cutting they're all guessing. Really? Yeah. Like what wow. brand and stuff it is. It's a Maverick by Mossberg. Maverick by Mossberg? Yep, 12 gauge. 12 gauge. Does it take pump? pump. Yep. Take three and a half? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. For those high flyers. Well, now you all know, Sarah's gun is a Mossberg Maverick. Yep. Alright, my gun down here is a Remington pump, Remington 870, with a custom paint job. <laughs> I like it. Chester? Chester, what are you doing on my side of the boat? What are you doing? There's nothing over there, buddy. It's right in front of you. See it? It's right there, Sarah. It's right in front of you. Kind of to your left. Oh, perfect. Kill that thing. Yeah! Get it! Oh, Chester, see it. 
That thing is so dead. Wow, it's a Oh, give me the excited job. Hopefully, he'll... good boy. Come on, Chester. Yeah, it's a nice mallard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Get up here. There you go. Oh, you're not an old man yet. Oh, yeah. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Shake oh. it. Let's do that. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Nice that is a big bird. That is big. That's a nice meal there. Oh, yeah. That was a good shot, too. It just folded right when you shot it. Yep. Sweet. Awesome. One down. At least we didn't go empty handed. Oh, yeah, totally. It was a good shot. It was just coming right here. Yeah, I didn't see it. It was like <laughs> on top of you. You're like, where is it? I, like, I don't see it. So that Sarah got the one, is that the only one you guys got there? Oh, that's a nice mallard. Nice. Wow, nice duck. Okay guys, well now we have to just break camp and call it another opening weekend. It was fun. So but now we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice big mallard. You did good. <laughs> I didn't get nothing. I had a sore arm. That's about it. <laughs> Teresa got, or Sarah got one. A mallard. Zach didn't get any. How'd you guys do? Two. You did. How about you? I got one. Did you? Okay, everyone, well, this side's all cleaned up now. Chris and Teresa's side is all cleaned up. We're all packed up and headed home.